Hey y'all, it's Shelly. So, um, I'm coming to share with you. I've just done some jelly printing. And I haven't done this in a long time, so I thought I would come share it with you. Um, sorry about the shadow. Uh, let me see if I turn the light on, if that will help. Probably not. Well, that takes a little bit of away. Okay, so, actually I'll move these to the side so I can show you one by one. So, I just put down my color and pulled the stencil through the stencil. And this is what I got from um, through the stencil. This was an Aztec print or Azte Aztec block or something like that from Joggles. Um, most of the stencils that I used are Joggles. Um, so, this was my first pull. And then this was off of the... Um, stencil and then I had a blue background where all I had on it was blue um, so then I pulled off of the jelly plate the Aztec print this is my least favorite one um, it shows up pretty bright on the screen but in person it's actually not that bright um, so I wasn't that happy with that one then um, so this is my next one and I did this just, this is just through the stencil. It was a, a pink and a um, light tealish blue. Um, so there was that one. And then uh, straight off of the jelly plate, I got that. And I've done this for a swap. So I've cut these in half because this is the size that we wanted. Um, and then I actually got another full sheet off of the jelly plate from the paint. I guess I used more paint on that one. So there you can see the three differences. This one is actually my favorite. This one. Um, and these that are just through the stencil, I'll probably do something else with those in the end. Um, so then this is, and all of those so far have been a joggle stencil. All of these are joggles unless I tell you differently. Um, so this was just through the stencil. It was a yellow and a blue. So they kind of blended together to make a green. Then this was straight off of the jelly plate. And then this was off of the stencil. And I actually really like this one as well. Um, I could do more to it, but I could also leave it, you know, the way it is. So I, I like how that one turned out. Then the next one, and some of these I've cut down and some of them I haven't. So this is also a joggle stencil through, this is just through the stencil. Um, okay, so there's that. And then this is off of the jelly plate. And then this is off of the stencil. So this is my favorite from this this portion. So I think um, this one just through the stencil, I'll probably do something else to that one. Um, then here's another one with this same stencil with a purple and a blue. And this is just through the stencil. And then that's off the jelly plate. And then I tried to do off of uh, take it off of the stencil and I left it sitting for too long so this one actually came out okay but this one stuck to my stencil so I still have a pretty good portion there where I can use it for something but just a little reminder not to leave them on your stencils too long okay and now this is a Patty Tolly Parish stencil that I used and this one is metallic so this is through the stencil. It was a gray and then a red metallic. Then this is off of the jelly plate. And then this one is from the stencil. So I actually like this one and this one the best. A lot of the ones where they're just through the stencil, I find that I don't like them as well. But here's one coming up where I really like the one through the stencil. So this is another joggle stencil and it is a red, a flat red, no metallic. So this is through the stencil. 
And then this is off of the jelly plate. Um, I actually like the jelly plate and through the stencil the best, but I even that one's pretty cool, you know, like and then this is lifting the paint off of the stencil. So I really, really like this one. Um, this would be cool to just matte it and make it into a card. Matt a piece of it, make it into a card and add a sentiment. So yeah, so I've been doing that um, yesterday. That's what I did yesterday. Um, and I did a lot of, I found I did a lot of red and blue. I guess probably because of 4th of July coming up. Or actually, 4th of July just passed. I think today's the 7th, I think. Um, I still have my 4th of July nails on, but I have ruined them um, doing all of this painting and stuff. So I'm going to have to redo my nails. Um, but, yeah, so I just wanted to come and share that. Um, something I haven't done in a whole, like, a long time was jelly prints. And i done this swap just to get myself to use my jelly plate because I really do enjoy it. I can sit here and just, you know, make different patterns and see what you come out with and whatever, you know, you use different colors, it looks differently. You know, you layer on top and then you, you know, it looks different. And this is pretty much just all one layer. Everything is one layer. So, um... I'll probably just be sending these as they are for the swap, but then, um, and I have more than I need for the swap, but then, um, you know, I might keep some of them and do some more layering with them and just see what happens. So I hope you're all doing well. Uh, my friends in the U.S., I hope you all had a great 4th of July. I miss all the fireworks, and so I watched a lot of your videos online, seeing fireworks, and um, so I hope you're all doing well, and... Um, yeah, I'll be speaking to you soon. Bye!